Welcome back everyone to another quick Unreal tutorial. Now some of you may have noticed from some of my other tutorials that when I launch Unreal, I have my own splash screen come up. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can implement yours within your current projects. And I'm also going to show you how you can make your own the default one for whenever you start a new project. So let's start just by changing the one for a default project that we have. So as you can see, I have the usual tutorial scene that I use here and it has the current default Unreal splash screen. So let's change that to the one that I normally use. So I want to change the splash screen that just this project uses. And I have created two here. I have my own logo in blue and one in green. I want to change the splash screen that this project uses to the blue one. To do that, we simply come to settings, project settings, and then under the platforms, if we come about halfway down, you'll see an option at the bottom called Windows. If we click on that, you can see the two splash screens that it's using. One for the editor, which is when we load it, and one for the game, when you eventually publish your game. To change, all we do is we click on these three little dots here, where it says choose a file from this computer. And you can see I'm actually already in that folder on the desktop. Now, Unreal will only accept PNGs and bitmap files. It won't accept JPEGs for some reason. I don't know why, but I chose to make these as uh, bitmaps. So if I double click on that, you can see that one's changed and I'm gonna change the game one as well to the same blue one. Now, I just wanna show you what that's done. If I was to go to the content folder of my tutorial, so I'm in my Unreal projects. There's the tutorial, which is the name of this Unreal project. In the content folder, when I did that, it created a new folder called Splash. And in there, you'll see the two new Splash screens that it's using. So I just wanna show you something else before we move on to how to change the default. So let's come in here, let's create a new project. As you can see, this new one is using the old splash screen. I'm just going to create a blank one. I'm going to call it my project. The name's not important. Okay, now that that's launched, if we were to come back and have a look at, let's come back to my Unreal projects, and here's this new my project. In here, content, there's no splash folder in there. If I want this to use the same splash screen as the tutorial project, let's say, it's really simple. All we do is come to the tutorial one, contents, and there's the splash screen. There I'm gonna copy the whole folder into the content folder here for the My Project. Now when I close this down and relaunch the My Project, you should see that it will use that new splash screen. So let's go to library, here's My Project, let's launch it. And there we go, it's using the new one. So now what about actually changing the default one and have that used for every new project that we create or indeed every existing project? And I'll show you what I mean. Again, I'm going to create a new project. I'm gonna create a blank one again. This will be called my project two. And as you can see, it's using the old one. Now we're gonna come back to the project settings and we're gonna find that splash screen again. So under platforms, windows. Now this time, if we just hover over it, it tells us where the default splash screen is. You can see in my case, program files, epic U5, engine content splash screen, editor splash.bmp. So when you create a new project, unlike most things, the, the splash screen isn't copied into the project. It's actually referring to something external in the original install directory. So if we want to change that, we go to that folder and I have that right here. So these are the two files that it's referencing on my local disk, C program files. Now I'm gonna copy my one in here. This is the blue one, if you remember, and I'm just gonna make a backup of the old ones. So let's call those original. 
I'm going to move those into that folder. And then I'm just going to copy the name and call that splash. There we go. And I'm going to create a copy of that. And it was the other one was called Ed Splash. So let's go to this. I'm going to call this. This was Ed Splash. And take the copy off the end. And hit return. So let's close this project, my project two down, and let's relaunch it again. And now, as you can see, this is using that new one that we just dropped in there. But this time, when we come to the project settings under the platforms, windows, you can see that it's still using, it's still referencing the one in the content folder of the original install location. Now, one key thing to notice, and, and just to help make this point, every project will call the one within the install location unless it finds one within its own content folder. So just to show you exactly what I mean, that's why I have this green one for. I'm going to copy this into my Unreal projects, the My Project one, content splash. I'm going to paste this in here, and I'm just going to rename it. Create a new folder. Call it old, just to get those out of the way. I'm going to put those in there. Rename that to splash. Create a copy and it was Ed Splash. Delete that. And now this is the My Project, so not the My Project 2. So I'm going to close this one down and relaunch My Project to the library, the My Project one, which is the one we just changed. And you can see now it's using the green one. So a local splash screen overrides the one in the default location. As usual, I hope you found that really helpful. If you've got any questions or anything, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you. And if there's any additional tutorials that you would like to see made, hit me up, let me know, and I'll see what I can do for you. Until next time, take it easy.